photography class, I'm going to show you how you use Photo P in order to open your work, make your adjustments, and save it back out with your watermark on it. So first thing is you need to open a file, and I'm going to say File, and then Open. And at that point, I can actually browse into my spot where your things are saved. So on your Chromebook or PC, wherever that is, you will have to go and look at where things are at. So I'm going to go into my demos of photos and I'm just going to go right in here and pick one of these. So I'll just pick this one and say open. So at this point you can still duplicate your background by the same as you would in Photoshop. You can drag it to your new layer button or you can right click on it and say duplicate background. And you will notice there's a little bit of lag here compared to what you're used to on our actual PCs. From there, to do a adjustment layer, I don't see where it is here. I'm going to go looking and see. Okay, so it's not there in the window uh, to be able to bring that up for a very quick adjustment layer, but we do have it right here. So we can go layer, new adjustment layer. There's my levels. So I could go into that. Once again, you can see there is a little bit of a lag, but you can adjust your levels in there how you need to in order to drag your sliders up, etc. So once again, it is a little bit laggy on my machine at least. Yours will probably be showing you the same. I've got my levels on there. Now it would probably be a good time to do your saturation or vibrance if you need to but really you guys i'm not that picky as to what these pictures uh as to how much editing you're going to do for all of it if you find that your computer handles it and your chromebook or whatever you're using please go ahead and do all of those adjustments like you would normally do if you're finding that it's crashing on you all the time then please don't fret okay as long as i can see some of your photography that's the main thing here moving forward from this point, I'm going to show you now how you would put your watermark on it. You would say to file, and you do have this open and place. So just like place embedded for your regular watermark, you would go and find it. So now for me, my watermarks, I believe if I go straight to here, I do have something called Swood Signature somewhere. There's mine, okay? Again, there is a little bit of a lag, but you can move it down into your corner and you can adjust it. Again, if you hold your shift key when you adjust, it will maintain its perspective just like it usually does. Go ahead and grab it, put it into the corner like you normally would do. And I do believe that we can also invert it. Let me practice that. Oh yes, control I still works. You can see that I have made mine into a white one and you still do have the opacity controls to be able to adjust that. And notice again, your mouse will do a slider on it. So you can just grab on the word opacity and you can push it down if you need to a little bit. I'm going to now save this out. So first off, you never will be able to save. You have to save it as a PSD. So that will maintain your Photoshop file just like before. And mine is really having problems saving as a PSD. So I'm going to export it as a JPEG and see if I can have better luck with that. Lots of lag. There's my save for web. And so this kind of looks like that save for web that you normally would be doing. If you want a high res, then don't change your width and height and you can just zip it all the way up. But for putting onto your website, as we would normally do, change the largest number from your width or your height down to 800. And as soon as you hit 
enter or click outside of that 800, it should adjust your other one. Your 68%, you can also uh, see that down in this bottom corner, uh, it will show you how big it is. So you can up your quality to try and be within that 100K mark. <clears throat> And you'll see mine is also lagging on it. I'm going to hit save. And when it comes up with where it's saving to, please make sure that you do actually put the word low or high, whatever in there, so that you're not overwriting that original photo that you have got. I noticed that on mine, it's not actually even going into the same spot that I took it out of. So be very careful where you are saving to. For me, I'm going to have to go back into that same folder and then save it there. Mm -hmm.